Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. And yeah, I'm your lovely and awesome host, Bokusatsu. And uh, we're here to review... Actually, to be honest, I had no... I, I never expected this figure to come. Well, today we're here to review the S6 figure art, Votorad. Yeah, that, yeah, that's what it's called, Votorad. This is the uh, Japanese release. I, I was impatient for my year so late that, that, I was supposed, that I was supposed to get from Pete Bandai this month. So I said, you know what, F it, I'm just going to go buy the Japanese release off uh, Toe Collectibles, and I did. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, the figure, the figure pressed the hell out of me. Keep, sorry for my language. Also, all for the newcomer, hello, welcome to my channel. I, if, if you like what you see... Please like, comment, subscribe, and follow all my social description. But anyway, uh, this is a Japanese release because I was impatient for my US release. And I gotta say, this figure, yeah, no, this figure, uh, this figure, uh, it figure year for me. Right now, he is. Uh, next month, I have a Comrade Legend coming. Yeah, I know, right? And, uh, the figure out in uh September sorry, in September I have Comrade Voderad coming. Then uh October I have Comrade Majade uh coming uh, arriving. But uh yeah. The second Gotchart figure in this line is finally here and oh boy, it's about time I got a lot to say. And yes, I love Voderad. I love the suit. I love both users. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna angle the cap. I love Spanner, he's my favorite character, and I do love uh Lackless. Like they say, he's my uh one of my favorite characters and also if you see my Twitter and my social media, you know how much how much I like that character a lot. So I'm just gonna be blunt with you there. But yeah, uh Lackless Supremacy. Anyway <laughs> Uh yeah, this this thing is pretty good. He has I have one gripe, but at the same time Japanese uh, reviewers talk about this same gripe, so I understand the frustration. So, okay, this is how far he goes from here to here to here. He, he, he's a little limited, by the way, just want to point that out, due to, well, the skirt getting in the way. Oh, oh yeah, his weapon. <laughs> I'm going to put that right there for now. But yeah, he's a little limited. This is how far he goes for this, 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 and this. This is how far his legs go. So you gotta be careful with how you're posing because you not want to break this, these legs. This is how far his uh, legs go up to here as well. You wanna know how far his uh, head goes. Yes, you can spin it, by the way. I'm not going to do that. I'm not trying to break the figure. This is a Japanese release. Although I do have to... Although I, I do have to do US release on pre-order. But at the same time, uh... Yeah, I'm not trying to break this. I'm trying to... I'm trying to keep one like this. And when I get my, uh, Comrade Voderat, I'm going to turn this Voderat figure as... Display as Lackalice's... Lackalice... Because, well, I love Lackless. She's my favorite uh, Dark Sister out of the main three. But I'm going to say two, because I do not like Octoplotal. The kid, the child, the 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 kid, the kid villain in Gacha. I forgot her name, because her name is so hard to say. <laughs> but anyway, uh. Yeah, no, yeah, no, this guy. This, this guy feel this guy's uh sorry for studying, but uh, this I have I can't explain it, but uh, I love this figure a lot. He's well detailed, sculpted pretty well, good paint articulation. Articulation is fifty fifty at time, but it's still good. Good paint apps. It looks beat up and baggy, just like in the show. And uh, let's talk about his weapon before we go on to his accessories and all that. Oh, yeah, but I took a lot of pictures of this guy, so enjoy the uh, photo spam at the end of the video. <laughs> yeah. 
Here we have the Vol Slasher. I love this. Oh, 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 I love this thing so much. I have the DX toy. Well, if you see my review on the DX toy, then you know. Bukaki! Koki! Sona! Mato Rio! Ching, 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 ching! Kake! Koki! Sona! Mato Rio! Gacho Chevrolet! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But this, but this is pretty cool. I love the fact you can open it. And uh, bet I love the fact that you can open this bad boy and pretend you put it in a card, just like in the show. And you can do that. Ching! <laughs> That's so cool. But also, SHF Upgrade does have a uh, card slash sticker sheet for this in the uh, gotcha. I have plans on buying that because even though I hate stickers, I do. This is my only exception. This is my only exception. I will buy them just for this. Just just for uh Voldera and Gotcha and that's it. But yeah, this is uh this is very really, this is very really well paying detail. Also you can also you can you can do it like this to make it into a gun to just to shoot. Like boom like how he does in the show. That which is pretty cool and all. So yeah. But no, uh this figure is actually really cool. He's really good as well. Tamashi did the homework, which I'm actually proud of. This is where I say as much as I did not like the qui figure, I felt like this figure, Tamashi went all out for. For, like, paying that articulation and all that, and it worked out so good in their favor. <laughs> Lol. Now, uh, where y'all gonna announce Dread? <laughs> I'll just, listen, listen, I love God Chart, okay? It's my favorite Raywall show. But I'll just be honest. Can y'all announce Dread, please? Or, like, Voldera or Lacus in Voldera form. Even though it doesn't matter if you I'll take both. Look, man, I love Gotchard. I know the committee 5050 about it. Personally, I love him more than Geeks. That's just me. But uh yeah, oh so, yeah. Let's go on to his accessories. And Flarka, and I'm gonna ask me. Right I'm gonna ask, did I put the uh bow and arrow that uh, this figure comes with on Gotchard? Right here. It's right here. It's good. It's painted. Uh, it's painted really well in detail as well. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that on him for now on. I do have the bike coming this month, Gold Dash, which I cannot wait for. Yeah, if you can tell, I went all out for Gotcha. I bought all the Gotcha figure art. The last time I did this was for Black Sun. I bought all the Black Sun figure art, including the bike. Okay, let's do this. He doesn't cover a lot, but at the same time, that's understandable. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, put, I'm gonna put one of these hands on him to hold his weapon for the whole video. But uh, okay. So here we have like two like grab hands. Uh, you can make him hold his weapon to do like to hold it as a sword and a gun. That's basically what his wrench is. It's a sword and a gun. He comes with two fists, two fists that uh, he get when uh. Opening the figure. Oh. Bruh. Bruh! Sorry. He comes with two uh, fists that he gets when he opens the figure. Whoa. <laughs> the one fell. And two, like, uh, relaxed palm hands. And that's about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he comes with, he, he come with these two hands you can use as, well, relaxed hands for the figure. As well, two like more open hand. So I'm just gonna do this. By the way, these by these things came out super. These things come out super easy, which is pretty cool. I do hope that uh, Comrade Voldemort the same way. Once I get my hands on that figure, and yes, I did uh, pre-order the Japanese release, so I'm I'm good. I'm good for that as well. Cut. My impatience was growing. My impatience for this guy was growing every day. Cause I was saying to myself, "I can't, I can't hold it anymore, dude. I, I, I can't hold it anymore. 
I need this figure. I need this figure in my hands. Well, here we are. And look what happened. Well, I have two copies. I'm technically going to keep the second one in this box for now. But yeah. And I did hear he he looks really good with the with the Vol Slasher in his uh Vol Slasher, sorry, in his hand. Ah oh, man, this this looks so cool. By the way, uh apparently from what I was told on Jap on Japanese Twitter, you can take this piece off and it's so easy, which is okay, I'm not gonna do it. Oh, well, I'm not trying to break the figure, but yeah, if you want to customize him, do like his uh his uh helicopter shovel combo he does in the show and the Geats and Gotcha movie. And uh you can do that. <laughs> I seen I saw Japanese customizers customize his figure into Lackley's Voldorad, which is A plus by the way. And uh his combo form. Uh shovel and helicopter. And yeah. So, uh, before we go, <laughs> the figure comes with, the figure comes with, uh, some DLC. DLC. Other accessory that mainly for Gotchard. He comes with, uh, he comes with two hands, two, uh, grab hands to hold the bow and arrow, then two, like, release hands for this piece so you can shoot the bow and arrow. And that's about it. I already showed the bow and arrow, by the way, for Gotchard. And I'm gonna keep it on there for him. But since, but since uh we have a lot to review review what we have like a lot of figures to to uh, compare him with have a lot and uh just to get this one out of the way here we have a well got shard himself All right, so let me go. So since uh we're comparing him to well other character, since these two did talk a lot in the Rack and the Crossover movie, here we have him about his predecessor. Uh huh. Here we have him with his uh predecessor, Buffer. Those two look so good at each other. <laughs> All right. Here he is with uh, Nago. This figure cannot uh, this figure cannot hold her weapon. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Here with uh with my favorite Geats character, everyone's favorite uh ninja boy tycoon. I right, ignore the voices, for the ignore the sounds here in the background. My bad. Here it is without the fraud of Geats. Yeah, I call Ace a fraud. Come at me, boys. I call your man a fraud. Here, here, here for Geats. And yeah, he stands pretty well with all of them. Not going to lie. Although, <laughs> he is sh he, although he is taller than Neon. Well, suit actress. Well, well, I mean, height and all that. But still. Here he is for Caliber. The base form by Red. I did not have I did not have Caliber power up anymore. I sold that junk. I'm so glad I did. <laughs> this 
this is the only like just like one of the few suits I like in Saber. What you don't like Saber? No, I do not like Saber. I'm sorry, I just don't think Saber is that good of a show. Anyway, in my opinion, here he is with Comrade Zeo, the uh, Heisei Generation version, but still. Dang, he's standing pretty well with both of them. All right. Here he is with the SH Figure Sinkoku Seho Kamara Double uh, ex Extreme. I love this suit. It's one of my favorite final forms in Kamen Rider. And I do have Fang Joker on pre-order, just to clarify. And here he is with Val. Another, here he is with Val. Another favorite tertiary of mine. Ch uh, Chalice. <sighs> yo, Bandai, make a, yo, Tamashi, pre, make a Senkoku Seho version of Chalice. Because a callus, my bad. Because this figure, is rich, this figure still holds up, but I, I just want like an updated version. That's all. Same for Blade. But anyway, uh, yeah, he stands pretty well. He stands pretty well with both of them. Heck yeah, two of my favorite tertiaries. All right. Here he is about the Senkoku Seho uh, Kiryu Red that I reviewed last week. By the way, that video got copyrighted for a dumb reason, but don't worry, I took care of it. I know that the strike, I know that the strike is going to, uh, well, Hakai, so don't worry about that. You gotta love false copyright claim. Here he is, bro. Here he is with the Lightning Collection, uh, Diamond on the White, or, well, Abu Killer. Or Abu Killer, people say. That's not how I say his name, but. Whatever. Alright. Here he is with, here he is with the SA figure Prowl, Namekki, and Piccolo. Do we issue? Here he is with Val Vegito Blue. More like Superior Blue, but that's just me. <laughs> All right, yeah, no, he's staying pretty well with both of them. <laughs> All right, let's move them out of the way. And what are my thoughts on this figure? Well, okay. Okay. <sighs> he's good articulated, good paint app and all that. Posability is amazing. My only gripe, it's the skirt. The skirt hinders articulation for the legs, and I'm not the biggest fan of that. But besides that, yeah, no, this figure, this figure is pretty good. Uh, I'll say that uh, this figure made it. This figure made on my list. Uh, one of my favorite. This figure made on the list right now for figures of the year for me. And um. Uh, it's crazy how uh, Tamashi evolved through like a lot from Kamen Rider, and now we got this. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I cannot wait to get my hands on the other Gacha figure. The next like Gacha figure release. Is supposed to be at the end of the month. I think at the end of the month, it's the bike for Gold Dash that comes with a Hopper One. <laughs> yeah, I bought the bike by the way. Just want to point that out. And uh, yeah, this figure is uh, this figure is really good. If you have him, and uh, if you want to get one. Well, now's your chance because he's available on like on on 
on a, your freaking uh, Japanese uh, website that uh, has them. I think AmiAmi has them now. I don't know. People like to sell new figures all day all the time, so... Alright. <laughs> Bang. Anyway, uh, if you want to get your hands on this figure, he's uh he's P Bandai, but I know that Ninin Games has them in stock, so you can buy them off there. But uh, at the same time, if you don't use Ninin Game, I, I bought mine. I bought this Japanese release of Token Collectibles. I didn't pre-order him. And, uh, I know that, I know that they, I still know that they still have, like, a few, uh, copies left on there. If you want to go buy off there, go ahead. I will say, just be careful, because he is a little bit tight at a few places. But that's about it. Good articulation, good posability. The skirt is the only issue I have with this figure. But everything else is pretty good about him. I can see why Japanese fans like the figure, also don't like everything that the figure did, which is fair enough, but he's not frustrating. He's not annoying as Metal Cooler when I was trying to pose that figure nonstop due to him being shiny as heck. But yeah, uh, this figure's, uh, this figure's really good. <laughs> if I had to rank this figure, I'll give him a B, a B plus. Not a, not a C, a B plus. He's very really good. He could have been better if the skirt was like, not like plastic, more like cloth in my opinion. But besides that, yeah, no, dude, that's about it. This figure is uh, pretty good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. So follow all my social media descriptions, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs this year. And we guys help we can do it and we're almost there. And uh yeah. Put the notification button on as well. And and for my next video, it's gonna be on the Sinkoku Seho Kamari Wizard. And that could be a fun thing to talk about because I've been ready to talk about him. And yeah, thank you all for watching. My name is Aaron. I don't know, have a nice day wherever you live at, and uh, stay safe. Peace. Kick cold.